We're trying out Crocodile one more time. Nikaido TCG's list is exactly what we're playing with his interview coming later next week. So if you wanted to see the creator talk about this deck list, that's going to be coming down the line in the channel. So subscribe for more and hit that bell notification. But today we actually get to take advantage of Crocodile in many ways. We lose because of Crocodile. We win because of Crocodile. And we kind of do a lot of magic with and without Crocodile in all of the games that we play. So I'll let you watch it and see the magic that we get to enact today. And let's see what you think about seven cost Crocodile. Up against Reiju, I don't, I don't know if I'll exactly be able to show off Croc in this matchup, but we'll we'll do our best. I will say that. So Maul from our opponent here. Let's see, let's see. Let's see, let's see. So cards being cycled through. Deploy here, nice little croc. Uh, we'll probably go drop, mm, drop. Might drop overheat, honestly, but let's see. Drop, drop might be good. Uh, okay, so there, get a little, get a little KO involved. Got a five cost out, which is really unfortunate. Um, nothing for us to... Well, I'll play this just to enable the overheat a bit, right? Getting this out this early is just really unfortunate. Trash the Germa. They can filter through. Right. Getting some tax in. Playing their own Kaya. Going down on cards themselves. Um, sure. So they go 9k here. I mean, sure. Uh, and then trash this. Yeah, I do not mind that at all. Um, no one case to take advantage of here. 6k on the opponent. We probably just go one, two, three and just force some cards out. Right. Right. Perfect. It's less cards that they have access to. Next turn, we have a pretty good suite of things next turn. Um, we could we could take a hit. Honestly, we could take a hit here. Next turn, we just go croc, attach, pass. And then we, we just have a bunch of free stuff. Um, based on like what their threat assessment is here. Yeah. They are they are going crazy right now. They are they are going crazy. They are going crazy. What are they gonna do? Return a Kaya? No no ability. A lot of things happening from our opponent right now. All right. Um, I'm pretty down to just go deploy and then attach and then pass. And then we have a bunch of free things. That's the plan here. And then we probably end up taking a hit. And I think. I think our triggers can start working for us here. That's that's the plan. Uh, we're still at 34 cards. We have not done a lot, considering. Um, this is a hit we're going to take. This is 9k right here. Is that, yeah, this is 9k. That's another 9, or is that... I don't even know. How much is that? Yeah, 3. Um, you got to counter out a 1 of these, though. Right, we got to counter out a one of these. I'll resolve this hit. Um, I don't think we use this trigger. We're going to double spot. I don't think we use this trigger. Yeah, I'll counter out of this one. Start by placing... Start by placing on top. I'll get rid of this one. Right, and then we trash, and then we'll. Uh, d does the does the other one really matter? Yeah, I guess it does. Trash, resolve. Perfect. So I think what we'll do here is we'll attach one here, and we'll deploy, and then we'll attach one here. Right, and then we're all powerful. <laughs> Uh, um, yeah, 
yeah now now we're all powerful um now <laughs> I don't know. Now we just passed the turn, right? Like now, now we're just playing free stuff. So this is what I wanted to set up, but uh, we're, we're just like really not in a fun spot right now. Honestly, we're not in a fun spot. Oh, wow, 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 wow. More stuff coming in. More stuff coming in. Minus 2K. Minus 2,000. Minus 2,000. All right. Please do not kill one of them. That would be an absolute nightmare. Please do not kill one of them. <laughs> Oh lord, they are they're they're tanking up. They're tanking up right now. All right. Uh definitely one of these and then definitely another one of these. Just set myself up to the max. Um we'll trash yeah, the the third one doesn't isn't really going to have the value that we needed to have. Um Yeah, the third one isn't going to have the value we needed to have. Uh we will Okay, we'll take a hit. We'll take a hit. <sighs> The triggers are so bad. The triggers are so bad. Um, that no, I don't want to draw into these. That's the thing. Um, so to the bottom, trash for counter. I just don't want to draw into those. Um, deploy. Uh, that's great. So we're gonna go one, two, and then pay one for this. Oh, lordy lord. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if we're supposed to attack into this. I don't know. I'm going to I'm going to let the critics speak in the comment section here because um, I'm taking a lot of value from these, um, but I'm not getting much back out of them. What I am going to do, I'll force some I'll force a card or two out at least. Right. could start clearing out their board a bit six to nine K yep and then seems to be working seems to be working okay okay ended up being a good call ended up being a good call okay all right let's see if we can't bring this matchup back somehow we know one of our peel offs is at the bottom and our impel down so that's like a bunch of good triggers that we have that will not work here um but so far these should stay alive again we don't have death winks which makes this a little tough um you're yeah equal to or less dawn than your opponent yes yeah, seems like that is good um that is oh yeah yeah five to five um so we'll you know free that one up right give it a, give it a little boost give it a little boost right give it a little boost go eight to eight let's redraw love that i'm, I'm loving this right now <laughs> we just get to work some magic oh baby the value the value is unmatched the value is actually unmatched um, we're going to deploy here. I'm seeing some stuff. I'm seeing some stuff here. So let's go here. Let's go here. So this is one. So we go two. So it's free, free. I almost want to play Zeph, but I don't know if that's correct. I think it might be better to just try and kill these, honestly, and go two and two. Hatch two dawn here, swing 10k at this. I think it might just be better to like start wiping stuff out, right? Dead. Beauty. Yeah, and they lost. Wow. Crocodile coming in with the combat to come in. Different angle, outvaluing our opponents. Okay. All right. Maybe, maybe. Had to make a bit of a, you know, all right, all right. Crocodile, crocodile. Crocodile, Nami. Um... We got to mull that hand. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. I think we can, we can do this. We can do this. We can do this. I can get my redemption arc going. Um, how to TCG. We're going to make this happen. Unfortunately, they got the pudding and they, they got the mom coming down. Uh, deploy. Well, well, well. Uh, I think we're going to keep the breakfast. 
think we're going to keep the breakfast in case they build their board up a little higher. There's that, um, that Niku four cost six K. They hit me with that. Um, more than happy to take the hit here. So start by placing cards on actually not bad cards. Yeah. I mean, I'm drawing all of them actually. So it looks like they're playing Prospero here. I'm going to do it this way in case they hit me for 5k. I'll I'll go thing thing here. I'll keep Kaya. Yeah, but regardless, I'm drawing all those cards. I'm I'm going to I'm going to peel off. They play Prospero, so be it. Yeah, perfect. So Yeah, this and then end. We'll probably end up taking a hit here based on how things uh things line up. A little unfortunate that we have to, but we very well could have just brick fisted uh, the Prospero, which we may end up doing later on here. Um, honestly, I might just pitch the Kaya because we have peel off anyway. It might might be a bit of a might be a bit of a bad take, but um, let's do one of these. Depending on how they swing here, yeah, we'll pitch the Kaya. I don't really want to take a hit right now. Yeah, we will definitely bounce that. Um, definitely bounce that and pass. So we'll, we'll go love, love beam, probably pitch what we draw with that to the gavel. And then next turn we can peel off and just continue to take it from there. I think just being life high here is good if we're not going to find our peel offs. Um, haven't gotten rid of a croc yet, which is kind of a good sign. But a lot of our, a lot of our Mr. Ones are gone. So we're not going to get a lot more recursion out of our out of our gavels anymore, which is kind of unfortunate, but that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. We'll make it work. We'll make it work. Okay. 9k. I wonder if I should just take this hit, honestly. Left on top. All right. Yeah. Let's take that hit. Okay, redraw. We got for four. Sanji blocker again. Yep. That is really not that great, honestly. Um, it's not terrible, honestly. Could just get gavel back, though. Just get gavel back. Like I could go gavel pitch white snake. And then love love beam. Gavel pitch white snake though. Mm. Oh, gavel pitch white snake. I could just do it like this. I could I, I could just do it like this. I, I could pitch one of these. If they go 9k, pitch one of these love love beam. Yeah. All right. Let's run it like this. Let's run it like this. Let's run it like this. Let's get rid of, let's get rid of the white snake at this point. Uh, they're at nine dawn. Next turn, they're gonna just start raw swinging. The losing the white snake at this point because of that doesn't really seem that ideal, honestly. But it's okay. It's okay. Um. Yep. Oh, there you go. There's a white snake. What are you playing? Yeah. What are you playing? Okay, so next turn they go mom, right? Yeah, next turn they go mom. And then we lose a life and then we can white snake for one. So not bad. Force a card out of their hand. Yeah. Okay, pass the turn. So this turn... I lose a life to mom. At least. Like 90% sure I lose a life to mom. And the white snake here. Going to be a great way to just eliminate all those attacks. Um, So. Here. And then resolve the attack. So now. <laughs> you, you just got to play the mom. You, you just got to play the mom. Right. So on KO. Get rid of the Prospero. Right. That's it. I'd say white snake just that good, right? White snake just that good. 
Crocodile providing some value here. Hopefully with some pilafs. We're at four life. We're going to go to 20 cards, three life with Big Mom coming down. And attach a Dawn to Crocodile. Cast pilaf for two. The same amount of investment. Yo, they're not playing Mom. That is unhinged. They're not playing Mom. That's crazy. That's crazy. Uh, yeah, leave those on top. So I'm going to put it this way. If they don't attack anymore, I draw the overheat. If they do, I, I still get my overheat regardless. So. Yeah, they do not care, eh? All right. They just don't want the mom. All right. They, <laughs> they've been found out. They've been found out. Um, yeah, they've been found out. Okay. Uh, resolve that. Use this. So it's to its owner's hand. I uh, could just bounce Kaya here. Could just keep this. It depends on what I want to do here. Because what thing is what what this could do is if I, if I bounce this right, but I do need a lot of effects next turn. I think I just bounce Kaya. Take a well, no. Then they go Big Mom pass reject. I'm going to use this trigger, bounce the blocker Sanji. If they want to play blocker Sanji, then they can't attack with Katakuri. Prospero's... Prospero, they can still play and, like, uh, get a swing in. So, yeah. So, they're not, they're not going to. That's fine. That's, like... I don't even know. All right. There's, like, a better way to do that for sure. Um, Actually, not going to trigger that. It's a pretty good card to use here. So let's attach a Dawn and then spend two to do that. The same investment. Um, it's Kaya first. Pretty down to just lose Croc here, honestly. Yeah, pretty down to just lose Croc. not ideal our turn is going to be they're probably going to big mom here and then our turn becomes how do i do this so free free one no death wings to worry about i don't know if i really want to attack into this though like with croc i don't think i want to attack into this with croc um I don't think I want to attack into this with Croc. So I'll just hit Satori, I think. I'll just hit Satori. Okay, Satori's dead. Just one last thing to hit me. I'll just go Mom, Pass, Reject, start swinging at me. Like, yellow matchup is so annoying. Truly. Um... Yeah, trash card. We're close though. We're close here. Um, choose a Kaya. Resolve. All right, Big Mom. Yup. Overheat trigger would have been nice. Oh baby, crocodile is not what I want to draw. Croc is not what I want to draw. I think that might be GG. Honestly, it might just be GG. I think we just attach this for value. Um, might just be GG here. Attack blocker Sanji. Right. So that forces two cards out of their hand. And then this is 8k. Not having death wink is just like I don't know. It's it's real tough. It's real tough. It's 
real tough. We can still survive, though. We're at 10 cards. We're at 10 cards. Big Mom being the most frustrating card here. Yeah, reject. Definitely use that trigger. Couldn't find it. All right, GG's. So, so far, Croc not working out for me. I just... I don't know. Without Deathwink, it's tough. It's tough. It's tough. Um, yeah, GG's. Crocodile against Yamato. Okay. Okay, okay. This is a mulligan. That is a mall if I ever saw one. But this is great. Gavel pitch impel down for that big swing that they may inevitably have here. Um, feels pretty good. Feels pretty good. I will say, though, that Nikaido TCG did say that you may just want to take some hits early so that you don't have to take hits when the Onami comes down. Food for thought. Food for thought. I don't know. Food for thought. Like, do I take this? All right, Nikata, I'm... Do I take this? I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that, okay? My my gut instincts tell me no. My gut instincts tell me I should not be doing that. So I'm not going to. And now I can go Gavel Pitch Zeph. Okay, Omen to Holly. I actually could just Zeph here. Which might not be correct here if they find the holly and pick no cards to draw. Oh, they just raw dogged it. They had nothing. Beauty. Beauty. I love that. Okay. Okay. And then at some point, next turn, okay. Hody Jones comes down. Hody, Hody, Toady. Hody, Hody. Coming down. I'm going to pitch this Zeph probably. Um, I'm pretty down to take the hit here. Oh, that's a good trigger. Oh, baby, that's a good trigger. Mm. The Zeph. Choose no targets. Go to 9k, because I'm, I'm not really going to be able to use it, right? And then... Yeah, they're not going to swing here. So we're going to deploy this. Attach a Dawn. Attack here. Get a card out of their hand. And then, I don't know, is this the Onami turn? Because, I don't know, I have a lot of free stuff. I, I can counter out of the Onami. That's the big thing. I can counter out of the Onami. Get a lot of value there. But I'm not doing a lot of redrawing here. So the big problem I have with this version of Nami is you rely too heavily on Pilafs. Forget Kaya. Kaya is not card advantage. The only card advantage you gain is peel off and your triggers, which I don't like. I want there to be more card advantage specifically in, you know, kind of enabling death wings. So that's kind of the big fear I have there. But we get to swing out pretty big here based on what opponent's doing. All right. There is a lot going on here. There is a lot going on here. All right. You're swinging how much? 11K. So we're going to go, uh, let's, let's math this out here. So we could go gavel pitch, gavel pitch, and that should be enough. Yeah, gavel pitch, gavel, honestly, gavel pitch overheat is probably the plan, right? Right. Then we have to take this hit and then they add two here. That is that just sucks. All right. Great trigger though. Okay, you can't knock it. That that is a great trigger. All right. Can't knock it for what it is. Yeah. So now we just kind of do two of these for free. All right. Unfortunately, I lost another peel off. So that is a bit of a problem there. Um, we're gonna draw two cards. That was on that was a mistake. That was a dawn mistake there. Mm. Bit of a dawn mistake. That was a bit of a dawn mistake. Mm, kind of want to attack in the Hody here. It's like less cards though. Um. I could I could just use Hody to attack. I I could just attack with thing though. Like I need how much dawn open. I'm probably going to leave two Dawn open. So I can go here. All right. So they kill that. Perfect. Then go 
here. Tack Jones. Yeah, that's fine. And then pass. It might not be correct to attack in this in this matchup, though. It might not be correct. Shura. All right. At least this isn't Kai Island. They're not, they're, they're not finding Onami with that, at least. So deploy the Shura. Okay. Satori is great. Swing 10k and counter that out. Oh. They, re they really need to kill this thing, eh? So then they swing. That's fine. Yeah, that, that can die for that. For that much, that can die. Might have been better to have that stick around for some value, but let's see. Um... Right, and then no, no Yamato attack, eh? All right, well, I'll deploy this. Get this. Give me my gavel back. One, two, three, four. Uh, see what they do here. See if they save this. Nope. That makes sense. All right, pass through. Okay. Not, not, it's not terrible. It's not terrible. Things, things are going all right. Things are going all right. Um, place up to one of your wanted type characters other than because you on the top or bottom of its owner's life pile. Okay. All right. They don't really care about that, honestly. They don't really care about that. Playing a Holly out. Okay. Playing out their board. That's fine. Attached to Rested Dawn. They're going 10k. We're going to trash and then we're going to mill right. And then we're going to redraw. For the Yamato attack, we're going to redraw it really really deep in thought here how much they should commit you kind of have to commit right uh this is a hit we're gonna take uh we are not gonna trigger that that is a that is a valuable card right there all of this is great um we are going to probably just attack the hody honestly if i if i attach five dawn here is that really worth it though Honestly, I could just attach four Dawn. They probably have like a 2k count. They might not have anything. Honestly, they might not have anything. I'm, I'm going with a gamble here. It's a bit of a gamble, but let's see. I honestly could have just attached. Yeah, see, that's what I mean. I honestly could have just attached 8k and then attacked. Yeah, that might have been better. Uh, attack Shura, like attach 1k to Mr. Bones, attack Shura. Yeah, it might have it just been net better to just do that, but that's fine. Um, no cards to draw. Because now I might just take more hits than I need to here. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. They might just have to swing low here a little bit. Okay. Let's see, this might just be a take the hit type of situation. Um, yeah, might just have to take the hit. Uh, that's fine. No trigger. No trigger. This is going to be important to getting getting low in deck right now. It's going to be important to getting low. Yep. That's kind of what I was talking about here. We definitely want to counter out this attack. So there and then we'll kind of do this to stop some of the low swings. Honestly. We'll redraw. Okay. We'll swing at that. We'll take the hit gladly. No trigger, unfortunate. Not what we wanted out of our last trigger, but this is close. This is close. Okay, so that's sh that should be GG. That should be GG there. So let's just plan this out. I have double gum gum gavel. I have double gavel. Draw two, discard two. Yeah. 
yeah. Double gavel, draw two, discard two. Okay. All right. Um. Yeah. Okay. GG's. Woo. We managed to get there. Uh. Yeah. Wow. Close. 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 Okay. Crocodile not looking too bad. Not looking too bad. The Onami was there. Okay. So this should be GG's no matter how they swing it. They don't have a way to bottom deck cards. Even if they do. Um. Even if they do. One card being bottom decked is, is not the end of the world. Um, at all. Yep. Right. Playing out some cards. Definitely could have... I don't know. It's just like this This matchup, there, there isn't really anything that they can really do. Yeah, see? Um, no matter how you swing it, that is GG's. Uh, Crocodile didn't end up getting there um, for us in this matchup, but uh, just this is just like classic Nami stuff, honestly. This is just Nami doing Nami things, so. GG's. All right. Crocodile list. I don't know how much I'm convinced on it, but definitely, definitely still doable. With some tight play, you can make the Nami magic happen.